The Self-Realization Fellowship Church is a worldwide spiritual organization founded by Paramahansa Yogananda in 1920, based in Los Angeles, California. The group maintains over 500 meditation centers located in 54 countries throughout the United States and around the world. In mid-2008, the Self-Realization Church acquired a 17-acre existing church property in Glendale, California, and began the process of renovating the 1960s facility that had fallen into disrepair. Bids were submitted for a complete overhaul of the facility infrastructure, which included complete replacement of the HVAC system, electrical upgrades, plumbing repairs, new telephone IP networks, and a state-of-the-art digital control system. <laughs> I'm Steve Rumor. I'm the general contractor here on this remodel and extensive uh, remodel that it might be. We've gone through and updated uh, all the heating and air conditioning systems along with new paint and flooring and updating the electrical systems. Um, we've also included the DDC controls on all the HVACs in the main sanctuary and temple building here which will be fully uh, functional I hope by the end of the day or within the near future. But uh, we're looking forward to having the temple up and running and uh, ready for its dedication next Saturday. When Brian Shadell, project manager for the church, considered an open protocol during the design process for the remodel of the Glendale, California temple, he considered BACnet and Modbus options as well as LawnWorks technology. Uh, put in some proprietary systems a number of years ago and I decided I wanted to go with an open protocol system and did some research and decided that I liked LawnWorks better than uh, BACnet or Modbus or any of the other ones that I was aware of. LawnWorks uh, particularly will be able to monitor the system from other locations, remote locations, would we'll be able to control it as well. The winning proposal for the HVAC and lighting controls was submitted by Interlawn a Southern California-based contractor specializing in open ANSI 709.1 LawnWorks control networks, leveraging LawnMark interoperability standards. Interlawn provided the parts and smarts for the project, which included the design, supply, and support of the control system installation. Interlawn would provide the network infrastructure, control devices, input-output components, network design tools, a web-based user interface, and enterprise connectivity, which included alarm reporting, data logging, scheduling, and energy management. Training and consulting services were additionally provided by Interlon. The primary goal of the controls portion of the project was to implement a state-of-the-art building automation system that could be installed and maintained by in-house maintenance personnel and allowed the freedom to choose multiple vendors for support and expansion. This is the mechanical room for the air handlers. And what we do is we have some individual air handlers, small air handlers for some of the offices and the small chapel. And then we have one large air handler over here for the chapel. This is for the big chapel. And so these are uh, air handlers with chilled water coils and hot water coils. And you see the control panels over here. These are what's controlling these, these, uh, this equipment. These are fan coil controllers from Sircon. And uh, we're monitoring temperatures and then we're controlling the start and stop of the fans. There's also room sensors in each area where the users can adjust the temperatures. Here's our gateway to the internet. This is an Ilon 100. And this will serve up the web pages for the user to monitor and control their system, uh, as well as do uh, data logging and scheduling and alarm reporting. Some more Sircon controllers for the larger air handlers. This is a pressure sensing uh, transducer. These are the variable speed drives uh, supplied uh, by the mechanical contractor. They do not have a LawnWorks card in them, but we can uh, adjust the speed from our lawn controllers and we can perform a start stop. Because the primary issue in many churches is noise, so we want to be able to adjust the speed of these air handlers 
to deliver enough air, but at the quietest speed possible. Indoor air quality was of primary importance for the sanctuary room, which was occupied by just a few people to sometimes nearly 500. Noise levels from the mechanical equipment must be kept to a minimum while maintaining high levels of comfort and ventilation. And energy efficiency was an essential requirement as a facility where occupancy rates varied considerably and the central plant must be able to precisely match the dynamic load conditions. Lawnmark certified devices include Circon application specific controllers, Yaskawa variable speed drives, Pure Choice nose indoor air monitors, Douglas lighting controllers, Viconics room thermostats, and watt node energy meters from Continental Controls. Additional devices included freely programmable controllers from Circon and a microcontrol Lawnworks chiller interface card provided with the NAPS chiller. Enerlon created the network design using the Lawnmaker Turbo network management tool and provide the Lawnmaker standard edition to the end user for future ads, moves, and changes.